Imagine Elon Musk, one of the world's wealthiest individuals, losing every single dollar to the last cent. Imagine how bad that would be. That's exactly what happened to Abu Dhabi, one of the United Arab Emirates state. Before the discovery of oil, there was one thing that was as rare as gold itself. This rare stone is called the Queen of Gems, popular known as pearls. These stones were incredibly valuable due to their rarity, unique luster, and the effort required to harvest them. The value was further enhanced by the fact that they couldn't be mass-produced or replicated. Each natural pearl was a unique work of art created by nature. There is even a story told by the Roman author Pliny the Elder in his famous long-read book, Natural History, about how Cleopatra dissolved her two pearl earrings, poured it in a wine, and drank it, in order to win a bet that she had made with her lover. Mark Antony of Rome. This pearl were later valued to be worth over $28 million today's currency. At the Arabian Peninsula, especially Abu Dhabi in Saudi Arabia, were renowned for producing some of the world's finest natural pearls. For centuries, pearl diving had been a traditional livelihood for many in this region. The Arabian Gulf was considered one of the most prolific natural pearl-producing areas in the world. Meanwhile, Japan has become a global hub for pearl cultivation. Kokichi Mikamoto, a Japanese entrepreneur, revolutionized the pearl industry by developing the technique of culturing pearls. In 1893, he successfully cultivated the world's first cultured pearl, marking a pivotal moment in the history of pearls industry. These Japan cultured pearls became highly sought after for their consistent quality and affordability compared to their Arab natural counterparts. Japan, making a cool money from this industry, began producing pearls on a massive scale, and they flooded the market with high-quality cultured pearls. This had a significant impact on the global pearl trade, leading to a decline in the value of natural pearls and affecting Arabian Gulf economies, who are heavily reliant on the natural pearl trade. This was the state of Abu Dhabi until the Great Depression of the 1930s, which also struck and crippled Abu Dhabi and its pearl industry completely. The few remaining customers it had were also gone because of the Great Depression. This was a terrible moment for the entire Arab world. As people became unemployed, poverty begins to encroach more and more into their systems. But on March 3, 1938, oil was discovered in Saudi Arabia. It's one of the largest oil deposits ever found in human history, and this gave hope to Abu Dhabi that since oil can be found in Saudi, that means oil should be here too. Although these seem unlikely at the time. This is what led Abu Dhabi ruler at that time, Shalk Bai, to start authorizing foreign companies to find oil in their lands. These companies spent millions of dollars on resources and surveys up until the 1940s, when World War II put oil exploration on hold. The discovery process was further made difficult by a large sandstorm throughout Abu Dhabi. Oil companies were not that sure about finding oil in Abu Dhabi, but still they kept looking. And then finally, in 1951, some traces of oil and gas were discovered at a depth of 10,000 ft in Merbin One Well. Engineers were motivated, so they continued drilling deeper and deeper. And around 12,000 ft, they finally discover sour gas, a poisonous and flammable gas, which even ends up killing one of the engineers who had been working on this site. And finally, in 1958, after 20 years of effort and hard work by petroleum engineers, spending millions of money and resources, Abu Dhabi finally discovered oil in their land at Umshah Field. In this, how Abu Dhabi started exporting large amounts of its oil to other economies. At that time, they didn't even know that oil and gas revenues would make them the richest emirate in the UAE. Ali, Abu Dhabi ruler Sheikh Sakbut, was reluctant to spend the money because he thought oil revenues won't last forever. So at that time, Shaq Shaq but spent a small amount of money on development and saved most of it. But after he retired and was replaced by his younger brother, Sheik Zaid, the new ruler thought that oil would completely revolutionize Abu Dhabi. So he started investing in electricity, water, and a central sewage system. Then Shaq Zaid focused his attention on building modern infrastructure and housing projects. After Britain left the Persian Gulf in 1971, Sheikh Zaid would become a main driving force. In the formation of the UAE and Abu Dhabi become the capital city of the UAE. So Abu Dhabi rulers will have power over not just Abu Dhabi but also all of the UAE. Back in the early 1900s, the pearl industry was basically dominated by the Gulf nations and Japan, with both nations dominating different aspects of this precious pearl industry. Shaikh Zaid knew that oil revenue won't last forever, so as not to make the mistake with the pearl industry again. He has to find a way to preserve their wealth and reduce their dependence on oil. So, in 1967, he created a financial investment board responsible for investing excess amounts of oil revenues around the world. 
Now, this was a big move because in the past in several countries today invest only in gold and bonds. But Abu Dhabi's investment fund would invest in various asset classes. But this investment fund didn't last long. Shah Haq Said realized they needed to create an investment fund that would be distant from the government to invest effectively. So he created a new fund called Abu Dhabi Investment Authority of Baya. Sheikh Said transferred the responsibility of investing the money to this organization, which would remain distant from the government. So this is how the Abu Dhabi economic miracle started from. Abu Dhabi has recently shifted from an oil-based to tourism and service-based economy. There are several large projects, and the development of new luxury hotels, parks, and extravagant mansions is taking place to attract tourism. Today, Abu Dhabi has two Thede and Mubadala sovereign wealth funds, which combined are worth around $900 billion. Abu Dhabi has 90% of all the oil reserves in the entire United Arab Emirates. It has been been saving tons of money from excess oil revenues since 1976. It made Abu to be the most powerful and richest economy in the UAE. Asba himself, Bolve is the perfect example of how being blessed with natural resources can make countries one of the wealthiest economies on the planet. Remember being blessed with natural resources isn't enough. It takes a good leader that has determination and love his people to move a country forward.